All right, here we are. Alex, am I in the right camera? This one, okay, very good. <laughs> right, everybody, welcome to this uh, live stream tonight from Berlin. We are host at, uh, we are guests actually at Frame, Framed Berlin. So once more, thank you Frame for being so kind and generous to host the concert of tonight. And uh, I am very happy, I'll come a bit this way, very happy to introduce tonight to you Melody Chao. Uh, Melody and I are great friends. Yes. We have played many, many concerts together, not only in Germany, but also outside Germany. So quite an exciting collaboration so far. Mm -hmm. Melody has been so kind to uh, be the guest of tonight. And um, I know that uh, you are hosting a series of concerts already, live streaming. And uh, wanted to ask you, since uh, you live stream every, almost every week already, every week, yeah, every week, and you told me you take that, you took this as a challenge somehow. Do you want to tell me how you feel about that? So many concerts um, for an artist like you. How, what does it mean for you? Well, that's a very good question. Since actually today I'm jumping in mm -hmm. <laughs> because you contacted me. I don't remember exactly, something like Tuesday. <laughs> and actually, I'm doing my concerts every Thursday now. So yesterday, I played a totally different program. And since, you know, we are doing these live streams, it stays on the internet. So I cannot play today the same program that I played yesterday because it's not in Berlin and then in another place. It's all in the same place. Mm -hmm. So like, it's a challenge. But personally, I work well with challenge. I love it. And I like to, you know, push myself to see what I'm actually capable of. So, but I mean, today we actually uh, found uh, a very good solution for the program, which is like not, which was not supposed to be classical, huh, if I understand well. Yeah. So like your festival, it's so flourish and you also do a lot of uh, jazz and other kinds of music. Mm -hmm. So today I tried to make it not as classical. It's, it's going to be very classical, you'll see, in the, in the way it's written, all the music. But it's, uh, the whole program will be from Chinese influence, you know, Chinese music, um, piano solo. So for who doesn't know Melody already, and that's uh, a pity, so go check out everything that Melody already has online, on the web, and uh, on recording, uh, because uh, you are a classically trained musician, but I like to say that you explore different fields and different areas of, uh, of music genres, um, and that's very special of you. So tonight, what you were saying is that there is classical um, a classical background in some of this uh, music that is actually from the southeast part of the world, uh, let's say. You, want, you said like actually world music from China, in a way, so a big influence. Let me wrap up this presentation just saying why we are here tonight. Um, as, you, as you know, every live performance in the past two and a half months, almost three months, has been shut down. So as uh, a mission with some friends, we decided to keep up live music and we started live streaming in a living room where Melody actually was also yeah. with Elizabeth. <laughs> and that was about a month ago. Uh, we played some trios together and the concept evolved. And thanks to the collaboration with Frame tonight, we are here in this amazing space. Uh, and there is a pretty great uh, deal and great support by Frame which is actually the double up of every donation that comes in tonight. So show your support to the artist and your generosity. Um, make it so that uh, live music can keep going and can stay alive. So support the musicians, especially tonight, Melody, and also tune in every Friday for the concert series that we are live streaming from Framed. I think uh, I will jump in real soon to ask you more questions between the music. Okay, okay. Just, just <laughs> wink. Good. Wink at me and I will come there. Um, I just wanted to ask you the title of the uh, first piece. Yes. So I'm going to start with the biggest piece that I prepared for today, actually, which is the Yellow River Piano Concerto. And this Yellow River Piano Concerto was arranged in the 70s by a group of people, like there are altogether maybe nine or even 11, we say people who participated, but mainly two um, composers and, and pianists. Um, so that's uh, Mr. Cheng Zong In and uh, Wang Hua Chu. Not that you will remember the names like that, but yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, and at the basis, they arranged it from a, a cantata, the Yellow River Cantata, that was written in the, uh, during the Second World War, actually, by 
uh, a, Chi um, a Chinese composer that's considered as a, a national hero. So uh, this cantata, it's actually kind of, if you want to compare it, we can compare it to the Leningrad, uh, the Shostakovich Leningrad symphony. It had the, the same meaning behind it. Um, four movements. I arranged it for piano solo today. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs> And I also wanted to add that tonight we have some of the closest friends of uh, Melody here. So equally distanced at one and a half meter for safety reasons, so don't worry about that. Uh, I will ask everybody to put your hands together, make some noise for Melody, and enjoy the concert, everybody. <laughs>
Actually, I was surprised that the piano is still alive because <laughs> it's quite a, an old baby. This one. <laughs> I have to say that uh, you said four pianos and you arranged it for one, and that worked originally. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's just try now. Uh, I'll get you some water. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. And I wanted to ask you. Um, first of all, from home. We are. We can actually see what you type in uh, in there. So I would say go ahead with uh, interacting with us since uh, we are yeah. super mega live. And then uh, I can read some of your comments and uh, bring some of your questions over to the stage today. So show your love. Actually, show us who you are watching this uh, this concert tonight by commenting, putting a nice heart in the comments, so we can give you a name and uh, and a face. Um, so, first, first piece, Dana, can you introduce the next pieces to us? So, the next pieces, I was thinking, since, since this is the festival, I think we will directly <laughs> go into something a little bit, you know, actually the surprise thing, I will do my improvisation. Okay. Because, you know, like today I, I, I told uh, Federico that uh, I wanted to, you know, since it's not supposed to be a classical concert, to actually do an in improv session. A piece, and I asked him um, like just before, like if you can give me some, you know, when I say what really moved me, and when I say Paula, what do you think about? Just give me some ideas, and then I will pick a mood, and I will improvise something. So if I'm ge if I'm getting this right, you're about to improvise some from scratch. Some from scratch, yeah, just completely from scratch. Piece. And I actually feel quite inspired right now. And we will take you'll take some of uh, exactly. Shall we open a little bit the window for the people outside? Um, I no. Think we're not. I already okay. Hear them we already hear them loud enough yeah. um and uh, with these influences that we are gonna throw at you you're gonna improvise around the mood yeah so, so, for so china like if, if you say china what do you think about I was talking about pentatonism. Pentatonism for sure. Pentatonism, red, something else? Big and bad. Big and bad, ah, yeah. Yeah, cool, cool. Mystical, I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mystical, red, pentatonic. Okay. Let's do something out of this. Do we have enough adjectives there for you? Or is that more or less? I, I think that's, that's kind of. Thank you. 
So okay. I will just uh, repeat what just happened oh. for you guys. Okay. It was an improvisation with some suggestions from work that yeah. uh, reminded Hot the stuff. people here in the room with us. By the way, guys, make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's crazy how after two and a half months of empty rooms, this feels already like a concert hall. Uh, yeah. Compared to what we are, we have been doing we have a large audience of five people. My God, yes, five people. It's happening. <laughs> so uh, slowly, apparently in Germany we are already in, in phase 15. Yeah, actually it's kind of allowed. Every day, every day we have uh, a kind of like new rules um, involving what people should do. And so far we've been actually allowed to have some people in, in here with a bit distance between each other. Um, so yeah, the piece is just played with improvisation with uh, some uh, flavors. Yeah, so there, there was, uh, we, we took three words, huh? there was uh, p uh, pentatonism yeah. that you uh, called. So pentatonism is basically the, you know, the, the Chinese music uh, scale. It's like this, that's yeah. pentatonism. Yeah. And it's, it's made of five tones that are actually, um, instead of a seven, the, the 13 tones that we use in our Western system, yeah, the yeah. pentatonism selects five of those tones yeah. and they sound, they sound very exotic. So if you yeah. play them slowly, you they can actually have also sound harmonious, which is why actually in pop music, you use a lot of pentatonism, much more than you think, because it, you know, it sounds very uh, assonant. You know, right. Yeah, you could, and assonant. Absolutely. So uh, we had pentatonism, we had red. And for me, red is just passion. I don't know. I, I, I don't see. Uh, Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see passion. So there was a little bit of uh, passion, and there was also a uh, uh, mystic, no? mystical. Sorry. Yeah. This, and for me, mystical is these bells. You know, you have these bells in in the Eastern, um, not churches, temples, temples, of course. <laughs> and I don't remember. We had the discussion before, but um, it was your Iskandar that see colors in harmony. Uh, is it your case also that sometimes you can perceive a color while playing? Definitely, definitely, yes. Um, for me, like, actually, I don't, when you just say a red, like this red, I don't <laughs> affiliate it to any of, uh, of the 12 tones that we know here. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, G minor, for me, is definitely a, um, a dark blue. Yeah. That's always been the case since I was, like, seven. Dark blue, that's very clear. And then some other tones, they change a little bit. Like, D major, that for me, it's, like, like, golden orange yeah you know, and, it's, I don't know, and, I that, and that's and that's such that. a beautiful thing that that's why sometimes your music in my opinion uh has the flavor of messian somehow oh, because yeah. because he has this way of decomposing music into sound and recomposing it as a window of a church as he as he used to do actually watching yeah. this beautiful talk mm -hmm. so sometimes i listen to your music I, and i see these mosaics of colors so yeah. it goes back to messian and his incredible language um, oh, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I and love I love him, <laughs> and you know that. Uh, so, uh, moving on, yes. can you introduce to us what's going to Yes, gonna okay, um, I'm going to, uh, to continue with uh, a piece that I actually composed for, um, actually, it's a piece that's called The Bells of Victory. At the beginning, it was The Dawn of Victory. Now, I renamed it The Bells of Victory because um, I composed it just at the beginning of the, um, of the coronavirus crisis and when it was still just, you know, in, in China, in Wuhan. Uh, and I dedicated this piece to all the fallen health workers during this, uh, this, this crisis. Um, so now, now I, I hope it's going to be a victory. It's already a victory yeah. in, in a lot of places in the world and 
So it's a piece to the memory and also a piece with hope. to the memory of all the health workers that, you know, died uh, and yeah. they're re real, real heroes. So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Bells of Victory, <laughs> composed by Melody Chao. Enjoy.
can also speak over there. Yeah, maybe the back there. Yeah. Yeah. Let me turn the back button. There we go. Did they test? Test. Very good. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> so. So that was the bells of victory that I composed in March. And those were definitely some bells over there. Yes. At the end, yeah. At you the know end. the victory. And I actually had the chance to create this piece just at the last concert that I gave uh, publicly before the lockdowns. Okay. So it so was really the last one. And two days after, in the same hall, in, in Victoria Hall in Geneva, they started to to to, to cancel all the concerts. So we were really concert. lucky to do So that was when? That was February, probably? Uh, that was... Uh, end of February or beginning of March? I know, March? I said March. No, it's already February. It's been it was already oh, February. It's, it's been... Yeah. Almost four months. Yeah. That it's going I can on. kind of relate to my experience. Yeah. I had the Indonesia, China and something in UK planned. Uh, but I guess also for you it was not an easy yeah. moment. Uh, <laughs> with how many countries uh, were you supposed to be or how many concerts do you well, think concerts, got compromised? I think something like, like 20. 20 concerts Because I had so a far. tour also planned. Yeah. I had really a lot of things going on. And yeah, well, it's just everybody's in the same soup right it's now. good to have you here <laughs> i mean it's so good to be here. <laughs> in all the bad luck uh, mm -hmm. the fact that we are here in berlin playing for our friends it's kind of special in a way and uh, by the way everyone is at home also gets to experience in a new way so yeah. i like it i like to call it and not just me the new normal yes many things we are learning how to do to do all their things in a new way. Yep. This is definitely one of those. Absolutely. Um, so some somebody is watching us live. Someone will watch us probably tomorrow in the next days. Yeah. But anyway, for some time we might have to get used to a mic, a camera, and sometimes batteries that are uh, going off. So <laughs> now we'll be stuck with a large camera. Hello. Anyway, <laughs> how many pieces more? Uh, since I this a we're done with the flow. Is that what? River oh no, flow? I was wondering what's the next. Yeah. <laughs> I thought river flows. No, river flow not at the time. I can play that too. Okay. Is it Chinese? No, it's not. I think it's Korean. <laughs> so one more piece for us. That's what you said. Uh, yes, one more piece that's actually in two parts. Mm -hmm. It's called Introduction and Dance. And it's very ethnical. It was composed by Mr. An Lun Huang, who lives in Canada, if I'm not mistaken, in the 80s. And um, I think it's so representative of a brand new language of classical music with Chinese inspiration. And it's, it's such a good example and it's so creative. Mm -hmm. So actually he uses, in the first part in introduction, he, um, he actually uses a very ethnical team, theme. I, I think it's, it's partially original and partially actu actually folkloric. Yeah. Uh, that comes from, uh, you know, you have a, in China is a big, big place and you have a lot of ethnic ethnicities that you can find in, in China and different kinds of music. And in the South, you have uh, some ethnies uh, that we also have some, some of this blood actually in our family, like hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they, they just dance and sing a lot and they also sing like from mountain to mountain. You know, this is the, so they kind of scream at the same time and it right. always goes very far. It's about this resonance, you know, echoing, echoing. Mm -hmm. And then the second part, the dance, for me, that's like really like ritual it's kind of a ritual dance you know with all the people around the fire you know a bonfire yeah. and then it's so um, it actually uses the piano as a per percussion and it's so original to do that this is this is really beautiful and it brings me um, with my imagination to some music by Stravinsky and Jolivet that did exactly totally. the same they took some uh, uh, rituals and uh, moments uh, of magic from the cultures and yeah. took them into um, classical music in a way yeah, and like used you, classical yeah, instruments yeah, as percussions yeah, absolutely yeah. and one of the powers of this is to bring back uh, who's listening to a um, let's say to a mood and to a moment of uh, primitive energy where yeah, we were primitive yes yeah, we word. were we were connected primitive. because yes. we were in a cave dancing around a fire yeah and this is how music was born this is how uh, you know, societies were born, like families and nuclear families, and then larger and larger. So music was at the center of these uh, spiritual moments. So I'm really looking forward to listen to this. Yeah. Um, and since it's the last piece, maybe I will also wrap it up from my side. Okay. And uh, so, uh, first of all, thanks for being here tonight. This Thank is you for the invitation. It's a great, great cool. pleasure. And you know, uh, to play once, not in my own living room, because <laughs> I do only home concerts. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, we, we are left with our living rooms. Yeah. So thank you, Framed. 
Uh, thank you for the donations. Thank you for the double up from Framed. This is extremely generous. This is great. Absolutely. Um, tune in next Friday at 1919 uh, with uh, Malina Chubano and Daria Tudor, a fantastic uh, classic. We had the duo. same teacher, actually. You had Daria the same Tudor. teacher. Yes. Fantastic. So you're going to listen to another great piano player and a phenomenal violin player next week. And I will just uh, slip it in there because it's at your living room. And me and you might play there yes. soon. And that's going to be that's Saturday. Exactly Next Saturday. No. Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Haha. -ha. <laughs> OK. OK. Very good. Next so Thursday. Very good. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, always Thursday for me and Friday for you. Huh? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's correct. So next Thursday at 8 PM. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly on 8 PM. Live from your living room. Live from my living room. And, and that's from my channel. So exactly. I guess we can. But we'll yeah. find it. I'll write it in the comments yeah, as well. Yeah, you, you, you can maybe give the, the link. So follow, follow uh, Melody and uh, watch all our next concerts and keep supporting art. So see you next Thursday with Melody. See you next Friday here at Framed. Um, keep art alive and uh, enjoy the last piece for tonight. Put your hands together, guys. <laughs>